Hey guys, this is Carrick with Crazy Gaming, and we are back playing some more Shadow of the Colossus. In the last episode, we went ahead and defeated the fourth Colossus, which is by far my least favorite Colossus, because it. It's, the thing is, the way to beat him is very simple, but it. I always get tripped up on it. But, yeah. Uh, anyway, enough complaining. We've got another Colossus to kill, and that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. So, let's go ahead and head out to the next area. Now, this is going to be the first Colossus of this type that we are going to be facing off against. This is a Flying Colossus, and it's so cool. Like, this fight is so freaking cool, but the thing is, since I am easily scared the water involved kind of freaks me out a little bit. Yep, still going in that direction. But, yeah, it just... All the water in this game just seems so black and murky and... Oscar, what are you doing? I'm sorry, my cat's in here. She's patting at the door. Oh, whatever. Um, what was my train thought? Yeah, the water looks so black and murky in this game that it's just it just freaks me out whenever I have to swim in it. Wait, no, I don't want to do it. But anyway. That's kind of weird. How are you able to jump in water? This is the correct way we're supposed to go, right? Yeah. Can't really tell anything. But this looks correct. Turn the volume down in my, my hand so that it doesn't so that it doesn't freak me out. Because yeah. like I said, I'm easily scared. Um, like I played Okami one time, and there's a part in that where you go to a ghost ship or something like that, and it and like you get like the faces of the fallen foes that you fought so far and no I'm pointing up jump up yeah um, but you see the faces of your fallen foe and it just takes over like the front of the screen that freaked me out <laughs> I was scared to death but yeah but this one is pretty cool, and you'll see why I'm always scared at the very end. Yep, here we go.
go get him. Somber music, I love it. Yeah, but I've got my bow equipped because we're going to need it. So I'm trying to see where are the pedestals at. Now you might be thinking, oh, we got to jump onto the tail. No, that's not what we have to do. many different ways we can go about this. The way I'm going to do it is Alrighty, that hit him. So here we go. You ready? You ready? Oh, wasn't in the right place. Jump up onto the pedestal. Okay. Okay. So yeah, right there. Right there we go. We are on him. get to fight this thing in midair. sure that the first weak point is on the very back on the tail. Nope. Oh, yep, there it is. Slam. Now notice I said first weak point. Yes, there are multiple weak points on this thing. I believe there are three if I remember correctly. Stone. Let's keep moving forward. Now comes the hard part. See those little patches on the end of the wings? That's what we gotta get to next. It's one of those. got me upside down. I think this one is done as well. No staff for good measure. Nope. Okay. I, I know. I know. for the first time up. Yep. Alright. Jump back down here. Where 
where are you at? Alright, he's all the way over there. Now you gotta hit him while he's flying. Most likely on the other wing. That's the last week. Oh dang! Damn, I am lucky. onto that section of his wing. I want you to grab onto the hairy patch. And we're done. Now this is when I turn off my mute, uh, turn off the volume. Because this is where it starts to freak me out. into the water, he's dying in the water. We try and swim away. Mm -hmm. And you don't know whenever it's gonna come. It just comes out of nowhere and gets you. You're swimming along, swimming along, swimming along, and there it goes. That's why I turn off my sound, because like whenever it gets you, it's just <laughs> for that voice at the very end because that because <laughs> here let me tell you the story of the first time I played this all right I played it at a summer camp all right and I've said that before on one of the videos I think it was the first one multiple times but I was playing this pitch black dead of night I beat that boss freaked the hell out of me and then like a, the, the voice was like wonder or something like that it was just very creepy I'm like Okay, I'm turning this off. <laughs> so, yeah. So this game kind of freaks me out a ton. It's still fun. So, yep. Uh, that'll be it for this episode. So, if you guys like this part, like, comment, subscribe. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Uh, next time on Let's Play, uh, Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus, we will be defeating yet another Colossus. Plain and simple. So, I will see you guys next time.